Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, four-star ladybug, the Glowbugs. Um, we're led by a guy named Patches. Patches was always a ghoul who fancied himself as a comedian. After leaving the Midwestern Brotherhood, when he stopped laughing at us to end up, Patches sought to find a new audience. Eventually, he came upon the Glowbugs living near the irradiated ruins of Boulder. Patches hosts his stand-up comedy routine every night after leading successful scavenger unit runs in Boulder for food and supplies. So, it's 2279, it's definitely not the beginning, and we're actually a puppet of Black Canyon. Now, we are using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, as well as Old World Blues, uh, I forget, uh, it's one of the expanded focus trees that gives a, a unique focus tree, a slightly updated unique focus tree for um, ghouls, or at least for the generic... Uh, nations. So Glow Bugs right now is a generic nation. It might get reworked, might get written out. I don't know. But with this uh, Old World Blues Focus expansion, uh, we got Ghoul Lives, which is actually different from what we've had before. So gifted with seemingly endless lifespans, some ghouls have spent their many years in the waste gathering weapons and practical experience. Given how many settlements reject them outright, not always by choice. No ghouls forgotten. All across the way is the same story. Smooth skins kick, kick us ghouls out of their communities or worse, send bullets away. Well, here we're founding a community taking all the outcasts that can't see our advantages, and with guns in every hand, we'll defend ourselves. Feral affinity. By far the worst possible side effect of ghoulification is, of course, going feral. There's no danger to us, however, as they won't raise a hand against a fellow ghoul. The ferals and near ferals can still have roles in our society. A radiative wave. Using ra trained leaders and lures, we can send a wave of ferals at our enemies as an opening assault. Supported by fire from troopers, radioactive equipment is also passed out to specialists to bolster and heal the wounded and dedicated glowing officers. There are ghouls out there who, through a strange crook of biology, give off high levels of radiation from their bodies at all times. Given that this heals our soldiers and weakens the likes of smooth skins, we've offered incentives for glowing ones to sign up. Atomic features, despite the insults against us, ghouls are better adapted to conditions of the wasteland. With the vast ranks recruited to our flag and the enormous quantities of radioactive material stockpiled, the future, of course, is ours. Um, so, we're using that, you know, the genetic focus tree. We're actually doing okay here. Um, you know what, you help out here. Cause, so what we've been doing, uh, that's, I read these ones because they're actually kind of unique. And I've never actually done them before. Um, yeah, so we start off as a puppet. We were like, almost completely annexed by them, but using Old World Blues, tech expansion, we've got the civilized tech over here. And I figured we, have, we would have to use it no matter what. We do get more daily autonomy gain, as well as master impact goes down by one. So... It's been a slow, slow struggle off screen, just trying to make sure that we do okay and try to raise our time so we can actually go out and like conquer places and expand because I want a big old war between us and the Luminous Ones, which the Luminous Ones seem very interesting. I'm very interested in playing as well, them, the great glowing one, Victory Hills. Uh, so he actually is a generic raider, but it feels like he could have quite a bit of interest, uh, interesting story behind him. But it helped us out when both the Twin Mothers, as well as Vault 37, decided to go to war with our master, Black Canyon. So, yeah, we're doing okay. Vault 27 has capitulated. We cannot do anything here, and they get the territory, which kind of sucks for us. But, oh, look at that. That does allow us to uh, do all right, really. Really, it gives us time to get our autonomy raised, which is the most important thing to do. Um, so... Other than that, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good old time here. Do not let them do anything. Do not let them move in. We do have special forces here, which are 12 combat with, which are okay. I want to raise up the level of which they are at. Paradise, of course, is down here. The Twin Mothers really wanted to focus down here against Vault 37. And uh, we've already had the Legion Civil War, so... And we're almost done with the Land Doctrine. We've gone down Conventional Warfare, which is pretty good, I'd say, at this point. Uh, I wonder if we can take the Penitentiary. That would actually be really cool if we could. No guarantees, you can see. But the more damage we take, the more casualties we take. In all honesty, probably the better for us. Uh, just so that continue to raise our uh, autonomy level. Which kind of sucks right now. Oh, look at that. You actually made an encirclement. Good job. If we can kill off some more enemy divisions, that'd be great. Um, we're actually winning here slightly and slowly, which is decent. And our tech levels for everything is pretty mid. So I can't complain too much. You know, as long as it's mid, we're, we'll do okay. And but a couple of refugees here and there. That's fine. Uh, Chief of the Air Force Flyboy. Why not? We have John Johnston. We've got Jonas Wallace for money. We've got Rand Sems, which is pretty normal. I actually went with the Boulder Dome because that's what we have. So we're researching stuff for really buildings and medical technology, which is why I also went with Docs to help our guys out too, just in case. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let's see. Anything else here? A little ahead of time. Research. Ah, uh, basic tools, why not? 
So the more autonomy we can gain, the better, obviously. Something that we'll re we're really trying to push hard for. Lots of autonomy. So we don't want to win this war fa too fast. If anything, we want to milk it for as much autonomy gain as possible. Um, so I really don't want to kill our twin mothers, in all honesty. I don't think we can justify on anybody else. So we cannot declare wars. We just have to wait till we can become free. So we'll try to export stuff. We'll try to send stuff. We'll try to take as much damage as possible. And win every battle we possibly can, really. Um, because the more damage we take, uh, the more game we get. And having special forces here is going to be pretty good, too. I don't want to lose too much manpower. We are mobilizing as much as we can. We're, we have so, service for volunteers. We've got encouraging women to serve. We've got radioactive waste, which is why we lost 5% soft attack. 3% recruitable population. You know, especially in Old World Blues, is huge. So we have to have that. And also with clean water. And I'll show you some of the uh, national spirits that we've got, too. And at this point, we're, we're done with most of the focuses. Um, and we've done very well overall. Ooh, here. Uh, you know what? We could grab this one next. So we've got, honestly, we didn't even start with any unique national spirits. We've got clean water, which is great. We've got current objective survive. We've got wall construction. We've got ensuring their safety. Uh, militia commanders. And then the rest of this is pretty generic, so. Just trying to f find out some way for us to be successful with this nation, which is not easy. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy playing as a, a ghoul, average, an average ghoul nation. Really, that seems relatively difficult. Do we actually push in yet? No. That's not us. We're going to continue pushing in now. And it gives, us, it gives our guys experience, which, exact, which is exactly what I think we need. Um, you guys, you're just straight up infantry, so I'm a straight stranger. Uh, you should have had that a while ago. And life gave up a more recovery rate. That'll be good. Hit them a little harder. They're attacking us. Oh, I guess they're the free fighters down here, too. Which is fine. Army XP, autonomy, stuff you need to be very successful in the waste. You know. Of course, here are the casualties as well. Well, we've lost about 2,000. They've lost about 6,300. Kind of insane. And we've actually done 2,800 damage, so it's not quite one for one. It's close-ish, but considering that we've got nothing here to really work with, it could be a lot worse. I'll also collect some air equipment, too. That being said, we got to make these guys bigger and thicker, because you know what? If you follow me on this channel, you know we like them thick. Boom. Now looking decent. Fire teams. Ooh, fire bases would be nice. We have no mobile fortifications. We need more radios. What else is new? Here. Just just keep beating them up. Grand Inquisition, eh? We're still str struggling for this stupid tiles here. But yeah, fighting the luminous ones would be great. Raising autonomy, getting away from the great Black Canyon here. I'm going Great Canyon would be good. Lannis is down here, or the Eastern Legion. Oh, Eastern Legion completely separated themselves. Iron Lions, taking out the baggers. Uh... Yeah, that would all be good stuff. Oh, we actually took the tile. Look at that. We didn't get a giant boost in stuff here, but whatever. Fairy Captain? Sure, why not? Um, other than that, how much money do we have? We have 288. We have not been spending very much, have we? Military signing bonuses? I believe that would be a good choice. Great agency because we can. And better radar would be nice. Yes, more coordination is good. It's not the most important thing, but it is very important. Important enough. Black Cannon is really weakening themselves a lot. Finding aerial reports, yes, please. Um, let them continue suffering major casualties real quick. Uh, I'm going to go with decisive engagements because I do want to go with cast eventually once we get the industry for it. There, just help them out. 44, 45. But then again, I don't want to just use manpower, just to use manpower. Because manpower is precious. It is very precious. So, happy October, everybody. Go ahead. Up, up. Now, they might get attacked again. Which is fine with us. Um, which actually be very good. The more manpower we use, the more losses we take, the more war score participation, the, be the better. Oh, there's Benny North. Look at that. Good. Is the balls good? Nice basic tools. Get okay, here too. Rapid deployment. We're done with the land auction until we can get to the next level as well. Uh, mobile cams will be good for armor. And we're going to go with setting sail. And what else? Infantry, spec ops. Let's go with the infantry. We got quite a bit of infantry. Let's see. Close air support. Reckless abandon. We're going to be opportunistic. Unrelenting firepower. Rapid capitalization? Sure, why not? I like that one. 
I like them all, actually, really. Aircraft, we're gonna go with cast, because we need one cast. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're still struggling here, huh? Go in. Just do whatever you can. Because the goal is to get here when you're gonna need 300 political power. We actually have a few fortifications, which actually I'm gonna go and throw on uh, fire bases. Um, it's not bad. 4.9, soft attack. 45 more HP is huge. I think it's 5. This is 45. That does slow us down a little bit, which is not cool. Which actually I might not throw on then. You know what? Maybe I won't throw them on there. Because the ghoul divisions, they're already this slow, anyways. You might as well make them that slow. Maybe we won't use five teams. Maybe we won't make them slightly different. You know what? Maybe we will. But yeah, we went through the ruler. I mean, the ruler. I mean, it, we decided to go with ruler just because that's where we started already. Yeah. We're not going to be here forever. And uh, just keep working on that. Nice. And that's also why I use. I mean, in Old World Blues, I love using chemical companies. Because you just don't have the manpower for what you really need here. So, I don't mind using up some of this manpower just because we're going to save a decent amount of manpower from our uh, medical tech. So, 68. So, which country goes up by one a day? Subject, uh, us exporting to our overlord, the Black Canyon, is going up slightly. So, and contributing to war score. Or well, we're trying. And so, Old World Blues second expansion is fantastic. I love it. Whoever the creator was, smart person. The developers of Old World Blues in general, just smart people. Fantastic. They do such a great job. We are lucky to have them. Um, so, clearly dedicated to the Old World Blues and its success. Last 2100 just for our crap ton of time. Because we actually, off screen, I raised up our time level like twice already. We started with literally nothing. So you're lucky I was here, Black Canyon, to save your butts. Oh my gosh. That was not an easy war. But it is what it is. Um, what else we got here? And you know what? I'm going to go with Aerial Dominance, Blimps, Fire Technology. That's alright. 8th Generation Chance. I really want uh, Aero Cobras. B-39 Aero Cobras. Let's go look-see. Airplane Attackers, Rotary. Gas Interceptor. Light Zeppelins. Airplane Bombers. Is this an Air Cobra? It doesn't really tell us, does it? Assault airships. Now it gives you monoplane attackers, so I guess tactical destruction. Throwing an enemy with just ground forces leads to heavy losses, but utilizing air force would do so and make it trivial. Sure. Uh, basic training appointments are good. Um, so now we are slowly just sitting here. Um, what can we give them? Anti tank weaponry? They must be a war. Well, Black Canyon, of course, does have their own generic focus tree, too, so we're gonna have to hang out and wait for them to figure out their stuff before we can actually uh, raise our autonomy level. So we've rebelled. We are on our own. Black Canyon is by itself. It's, well, doing all right, I guess. Um, don't really know. Don't really care too much. Um, but we are now war with the Luminous Ones. We've lost 183, and we've killed about 1300. And we're just about right now ready to attack their own tiles here and see if we can do any real damage. Now we do have an air force, and we do have close air support, so they are kicking in and well, doing some numbers here. Um, hopefully we can break into here and start encircling, destroying, and really making a name for ourselves as a Yu-Gi-Oh card here in, uh, you know, Cal Colorado. Ah, uh, good job, guys. Good job. In the meantime, we'll just do this and uh, continue kind of piercing through here. Hopefully. That'd be the real ideal. And then I want half of you guys to go here. Uh, I don't want you guys to leave. Y'all yeah, are staying here, whether you like it or not. Uh, can they go in? Can you like uh, maybe stop attacking? Maybe can half you guys get here? Yeah. Perhaps yes, please. Oh, would you look at that? In a circle munch. Fantastic. And you know what? We'll continue going this direction. Uh, we'll take these guys out and core them. You know what? Ghoul v ghoul. Oh, never mind. They're all part of a group here, so we're not going to do ghoul v ghoul. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty pretty decent right here. Looking not bad. We got tons of political power just in case. 
Um, I don't think we're done with the tree as well right now. Um, yeah, it's going pretty pretty well. Anything we got here? Life giver? Oh yeah, we're going to give a lot of life. And we're going to hit him even harder with a melee hacker. Um, you guys are going to do what? There's really no good way around this. I guess we attack here next. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm thinking circle uh, Cheyenne. Four divisions in circle. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. That's, that's pretty nice. There you go. Help him out. You know, it took us until 2281 to actually do anything here. Good. We might actually be able to do some serious damage here if we really wanted to. But let's make one more encirclement at least. One, two, three. One, two, three. Either way, it's going to suck. Um, honestly, you know what? Let everyone attack. I think we'll be fine. Let's put these guys up. They'll attack. They'll be fine. Um, yeah. Trading lightly. Desert hills. We're all in Colorado, so let's go with this. Oh. Discreet metals. Well, I meant to do mountains and hills. Oh, well. Whatever. We'll find plans all around the place anyway. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, our land doctrine is pretty much done. Because cultural advisor. Hideous quartermaster. He's a ghoul. Or rally of the people. That's not bad either. But I think we'll go with Gideon Keys because factory output seems to be more important for us. Supply grace is not bad. Um, yeah. And we'll go to War of the Baggers. How much longer for us to go to War of the Baggers? Uh, it's like about a month. It's not bad. Takes a little bit of time. Shouldn't be too terrible though. And then we can start finally start quarrying more lands and whatnot. You know, because it's really about just building ourselves up like this. So we do this. We do that. And then we can go to Wither Dogs. But then we're stuck in Colorado. Because we really can't take on the Legion. The Eastern Legion, I should at least say. Uh, I guess really up next would be taking out either Black Canyon or Glow's Crado, but then going up against all of Nebraska would be pretty tough. Uh, the Marshall Republic would be good to go against, um, but because they have Casper and Rapid City, but they're getting killed by the Sisters of Steel. So I think that for this episode, we're going to finish off with the Baggers. Next episode, we'll take on Black Canyon, take out Far Sun, Ouroboros, and get to Eagle Rock, because that is a trade note, and my god, do we need money. We are Baroque, just like real life. Completely broke. Well, okay, maybe, maybe that's a lie. I'm not completely broke. But close enough, that makes me feel broke. Alright, tons of political power, which is good. Go and do that one too. Eh, anything that I really care about? No. No. Only 14 caps per that. That's not bad. It's not great. Goddard, up to 26 divisions, about 1,000 manpower in reserve. Well, better than us. Oh, since we're here anyway, let's go and do this to Caravan Guards. No, Wasteland Pacification. And we're going to do. Yeah, militia's okay. I wouldn't mind using some enforcers as well, so we should probably research that next. We're also going down um, uh, this path. We, we did get the thing for asymmetric warfare. I wouldn't mind going wasteland with tactics and switch everyone over to enforcers, perhaps, because they're still pretty decent. I would still like to use them. So, of course, we can just go with straight up ancient tactics. Ghouls using conventional and ancient tactics at the same time. But we're ghouls, so it makes sense for us to use wasteland tactics. So, learn from the deadly creatures of the wasteland. Using the ferocity and feral tactics will make us truly have terrifying opponents. And scare the bejesus out of them. So, let's do that and see what happens. Do they attack us? No. How long would it take for us to go to war with them? These guys. In five days, not too bad. Well, we'll do what we can. You guys are going to attack. Can you guys hear here too? Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. You can do that, definitely. You can definitely do that there. Armor reserves is not bad. Fly range, we want triage, which is pretty good overall. Um, I don't want to do general attack because we're not that strong. We're decently strong, but not overly so. So, we're going to do this. That'd be nice. There you go. We want Briggsdale. Or we don't have to have Briggsdale. I guess let's go ahead and do that. Melt them that way, yeah. Oh, they start attacking us here too. Fine with me, I don't really care. Help them out. Good, good, good. Beat the crap out of them. And we made an encirclement. Time to go in. Oh, and they're forcing the defense. Lovely. Wow. Oh my god. Obviously, that's helping them win in like one or two places, but that's extremely devastating to their uh, land forces, so. There's a short-lived uh, thing to, for them to do. I'm not sure how much they really benefited from it, but you know they're going to lose their divisions anyways. So I guess it doesn't really matter. They've already lost 3,300, and then we'll go to war with the uh, other group. But I think we want it there. Once this group is dead, you know we've done very well in our first episode playing as uh, glow bugs, which is not easy to play as. But let's say we want to get most of Colorado. If we don't get all of Colorado under us for this campaign, 
that's all right. Um, so, hey, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As we're going to fight a former overlords and maybe get a trade node. Thanks for watching. Have a great, glowing rest of your day.